Hello and welcome to another adventure here on my channel. Today we're going to be doing two looks with the ColourPop East High palette, their collaboration palette with High School Musical, and seeing if this is the typical great ColourPop quality or if they will continue the pattern of fumbling the ball with the collections that speak to my personal childhood. I'm looking at you Sailor Moon palette. Hopefully this one is much better. I am so excited. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe and do all those good YouTube -y things. And with that, let's zoom in and dive right on in because I cannot wait to get this palette onto my eyes. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is what it looks like. It looks like a little yearbook. It is super cute. The inside, it has like a signed page with all the different character signatures. And then we have this gorgeous color story. I think they did a really good job in capturing the feel of the movie as well as just the vibe of 2005-ish makeup at the time. Not that I was super paying attention, but this seems very much like a palette they would have used on the sets of my favorite Disney Channel shows at the time, including High School Musical, movie, not a show, but whatever. And I feel like there's a very obvious way to use this palette in putting the neutrals in the crease and then picking a fun pop of color for the lid. And I am gonna do something inspired by the obvious way of using this palette, but I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of a twist to make it a little more interesting and fun for this video. Obviously, I will be using the shade Sharpay because I don't know if you could tell by literally everything about me ever, like Sharpay was my girl when I was little. She was my favorite character. I wanted to be Sharpay Evans when I grew up. I love her, so we're definitely using this pink. I think I'm gonna start with creme brulee in the crease and then we'll see if maybe I wanna add one of these two deeper matte shades, but let's start with creme brulee. And this shade creme brulee is one of those sequin shadows, which, I like these, so I'm happy we have one, but there does seem to be only two in the palette. So if you don't like them, there's not a ton, though if you really hate them, then there is two in the palette. So you might not like that. I gotta be honest, this is not really doing much for my crease, but then again, I don't know what I expected from this shade. It is very similar to my skin tone. The shade, was that a cell phone, is a little more pink, but because I'm going to want a more dramatic difference between the crease and the pink, I think I'm gonna go with the shade Scholastic Decathlon, which has this super cute EHS embossing. I love the details so much. I was listening to the soundtrack since this got here this morning and I was inspired and I realized I literally still remember so much of the choreography from the final dance in the second movie. Like, I have not seen that scene in 10 years minimum, probably closer to 12, 13, 14 years, 15 years. Like, I haven't seen that scene in so long, but I still remember the choreography. And I haven't listened to the music from High School Musical in, again, at least 10 years. And um, the amount of songs I still remember every word to, especially Fabulous from the second movie by Sharpay and Bop to the Top, her songs obviously are the ones I listen to the most because I loved her character so much. Is this video just becoming a chatty get ready with me all about High School Musical? Maybe. I don't know if these mattes are quite as pigmented as some of my other ColourPop mattes because I'm having to build them up more than I usually do with ColourPop. They're blending just fine, but yeah, they're just a little bit different, I think. Not bad, but just a little different. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Detention. It has cute little paw print imprints in the pan. Love the details, love the details. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer third in the outer corner. But honestly, as much as I love High School Musical, High School Musical 2 was my jam, was my favorite one in the series. I watched that movie probably more than any other movie as a child. So my point is ColourPop, don't you dare cheat me out of a High School Musical 2 palette. Like this had to do well, right? So I better get a High School Musical 2 palette and I want a shade that is the same color as that pink piano that was in the pool during Fabulous. That is, that is what I'm asking for. That is what I'm demanding. I need it. <laughs> this darker brown seems to be their usual level of pigmentation. Maybe it was just the shade I used earlier, um, Scholastic Decathlon, that was a little less pigmented than usual. 
I'm just gonna throw a little white on my waterline. And then I'm just gonna use Scholastic Decathlon and Detention on my lower lash line and we'll get to the fun stuff. Scholastic Decathlon is more peachy than it looks in the pan. That's interesting because I thought the shade Gabriella in the palette was more peachy. Like, let me swatch these two right next to each other real quick, which messes up the EHS imprint, but so be it. Okay, so this one is Scholastic Decathlon and this one is Gabriella. It's definitely less peachy in comparison to Gabriella, but it's just more peachy than I thought it looked in the pan. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is really great for cut creases, and I'm gonna do a bit of a cut crease. Honestly, I still love Disney Channel original movies. Like, I've never lost the love of Disney Channel original movies. I've even seen a good amount of the more modern ones, the ones that I was definitely not the target demographic for, but I really enjoyed um, Teen Beach Movie. One of my friends told me it was good, and she was right, so I watched that series. I've seen the first Descendants movie. I haven't seen the second or third. I might have seen the second, not the third. I don't know. Um, I haven't kept up with the Descendants series, but I want to. It was good. I just haven't sat down and done it yet. I'm taking this cut crease a little above my natural crease since I have hooded eyes and I want you to be able to see it more. I'm gonna just tap out the edge so it'll blend a little bit better into the eyeshadow. But um, my favorite more modern decom series is Zombies. The third one finally came out. It was postponed uh, because of COVID and it did not disappoint. If anything, I think the third one was the best one in the series. And I wanna clarify that with some DCOMs, I'm like, no, it's genuinely a fun time. It's a good movie that's just more aimed towards kids, like Teen Beach movie and even Descendants, really. Zombies is like, it is campy as hell and I love it. It very much has a specific DCOM flavor and it is more of that so bad it's good, especially the third one is just pure camp, but you can tell everyone in it was just having an absolute blast making it and was probably a little bit too talented <laughs> to be in it, but it was great. So if you haven't checked out some of the modern decoms, depending on what you like, I would suggest at least giving them a shot if you're bored one day and scrolling through all the content because they're all on Disney Plus now, I believe. Ooh, I could go back and rewatch High School Musical too. I might have to do that. Now I'm gonna take the shade Sharpay because of course it's such a pretty pink. That is like a Barbie Sharpay Evans pink. Like it is what it is supposed to be. I'm gonna put this on the cut crease, but I'm not gonna take it all the way up to the line. I'm in fact just gonna keep it kind of lower and kind of in a diagonal shape. I'm feeling like this is not picking up as easily as a lot of ColourPop shimmers do, but it's also not bad. I'm just noticing a little bit of a difference. It's like, I'm not sure if it's just these colors are a little bit different and the different pigments are causing the differences I'm noticing, or if it really is like not the same formula. I, I don't know. Cause it is only a really minor difference, but I'm reviewing the palette. So I want to let you know about it. And now to fill in the rest of that cut crease, I'm debating between Big Game right here and Tinseltown. I have to go with Tinseltown. That is what Sharpay Evans would do in this situation. She would go for the glitter and shine and boldness. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm taking Tinseltown on the same brush I used to cut my crease. And oh, that's not gonna work as well because, oh, it's not Tinseltown, it's Twinkletown. Have I been saying it wrong the whole time? I know that the musical is called Twinkle Town. I'm just gonna have a quick identity crisis here. Um, moving on. Yeah, this uh, is not going as well because it's a super shock and they work better with the finger, but I don't know how to get that nice clean cut crease using my finger in a super shock, but we're gonna try, I guess. Ooh, there's a little bit of gold in this super shock. Like I thought it was like a pure white super shock, but yeah, it's kind of like a goldy duochrome. 
Ooh, I like that. I actually really like that over the pink. Yeah, I'm gonna tap it over the whole thing. I'm gonna tap it over all the pink. Ooh, that's pretty, that's pretty. That was a good choice. That was definitely a good choice. I'm just gonna take that same shade Twinkle Town and put it in my inner corner. Maybe if I pull it a little bit along the lower lash line, it'll kind of tie the peach and pink together. I'm just taking my usual lower lash line brush and pulling it over a little bit, like half of the peach. Yeah, okay. That worked. Definitely not what I thought it would look like when I first had the idea and started the look, but overall, I think it's cute. Let me put on some mascara and some lips and I'll be right back. All right, to finish up, I used the Milk Kush Mascara. I got this little sample for free, but honestly, don't pay this much for a mascara. Just get an Essence one instead. They are just as good. And on the lips, even though I don't buy from Kylie Cosmetics anymore, I am gonna use what I have. So I used my Coco K Lip Kit. I love how I'm like, here's what I used. Don't buy either of them. Well, buy from Kylie if you want, none of my business. But anyway, here is the finished look. Overall, I am pretty happy with it, and I I do feel very much like Sharpay Evans, um, very 2005 inspired. I could see a look like this on a Disney Channel character. And you know what? If that's not the vibe I'm supposed to get from a High School Musical palette, then I don't know what is. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on into the second look, because I have some inspiration and I'm excited to do it. All right, for the second look, I want to try to recreate something like this. I'm just going to put up a picture of it so you can see. This is actually one of the promo pictures for the She-Hulk palette, but it kind of has that green and bluey purple feel to it and I think I can get something close but brighter and you know what if it turns out completely different it turns out completely different oh well but this is my inspiration pick so to start I'm gonna go in hmm how do I want to do this okay I think the best way to start is to actually take the deep shade detention and put that all over the outer half of the lid and then I'll go over it with the blue that way I'll get something a little bit darker maybe instead of the brown in this palette I should have taken like a black smudgy eyeliner or something but we're already here so this is what we're doing. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Ryan and I'm gonna put this all on the inner half of my eye. That's a really pretty color and I think it's, it reminds me of that hat he wears. Doesn't he wear like a green hat this color or something close? And I'm just putting this up into the crease as well. I'm just gonna blend it, not really have a matte crease transition color in this look. I think the shade Ryan is picking up better than the pink Sharpay. So that one might be just like that color or the pigments to make that color might be a little bit more difficult to work with because I think this is acting like the good standard, what I'm used to with ColourPop shimmers. Now I'm gonna take the blue Troy. I find it funny that Troy is next to Sharpay instead of Gabriella in this palette. I'm gonna put this over the brown. Okay, yeah, I think that brown did a little bit to deepen that up because it looks darker out here than it does where I put it just with the green. Again, just kind of lightly blending out the edges with that blue. Obviously a blue shimmer is very different from my actual skin tone, so it's not gonna be like a perfect fade, perfect blend, but I don't need perfect, I just need good enough. Just gonna clean up the edges with my CoverGirl CG Smoothers like usual. There seems to be a little patch on this eye that the blue just doesn't really wanna stick. I'm not sure why. What did they do for the lower lash line on this one? So they kind of have a goldy green wrapping around the eye onto the front of the lower lash line. So I think I'm gonna take the shade Student Body and that's gonna be my inner corner and front half of the lower lash line shade. Oh, oh, this is a super shock. Okay, I'll probably just have to use my finger then. Okay, this might just be the inner corner shade and we might have to alter the lower lash line a little bit from the inspiration picture, but that's fine, that's fine. This is already just a different take on the inspiration picture look anyway. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna use this Berry M eyeliner pencil. 
I got this in the UK, so I don't know if you can get it in the US, but it's just a electric bright green eye pencil. I know, I'm not using white for once. Who am I? And I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Taylor and I'm going to line around my eye with that. So this is going to go along the upper lash line and on the lower lash line. Ooh, I am getting some fallout from that shade, but I am also packing the brush with it. And I'm not doing like a wing, but I am joining the purple in the outer bit of the eye and I'm kind of trying to flick it up a little bit just so it lifts the eye and it's not like downturn, but I'm not doing a wing. I think that looks pretty good, pretty close to the original look at least. And this just goes to show again, you'd never need the actual palette someone is using if you like a look they're doing. You really can recreate pretty close at least with whatever you have because I am not gonna get that She-Hulk palette most likely, but I really liked that look, so here we are. It's on my eyes, at least close enough for me to be satisfied with it. I'm not gonna stop, that's who I am. When I find what I lost you, no, you can't bet on it. All right, I'm gonna throw on some mascara and some lips and be right back. All right, to finish up, I used the Milk Kush Mascara again, and on the lips, I used the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Cheeky, and here we are. I have to say, I feel fabulous in this look. I feel fantastic. I feel like I can take on the world. It is very much out of my, my usual, my typical, my go-to, but I love it. I definitely want to recreate this look again one day, very happy with it. And now as far as the palette goes, I don't think, hmm, I like this palette. I don't think there's anything wrong with this palette. And I think most of the shades are the typical great ColourPop formula that I know and love. However, there were just a few in here that I used that I was like, I don't know if this is quite as good as usual. There was nothing wrong with them. They were all good shadows. I could work with them. There was nothing bad about them. They just weren't quite as good as other ColourPop shadows that I have, though I don't know if they're a different formula or if it's just like the pigments for those shades are a little bit difficult to work with, like they don't mesh with their formula quite as good as other shades. Obviously I haven't used every single shade in this palette yet, so I can't give you like full yes, no, this is what's good, this is what's not, but overall I'd say it's a pretty solid palette. And if you bought it, I don't think you would be disappointed, especially if you're buying it for the love of High School Musical, the marketing, the thing that got me, the nostalgia, which sometimes I know that's what gets me, and as long as I go into it knowing that's what I'm buying it for, I'm fine with that. However, it is still a solid palette. I do like the color story and I think they really captured the vibe of the movie well in this. And overall, I'm happy with my purchase. So that is all I can really tell you. If you are thinking about getting this, I hope this was helpful. If you have it, hopefully this gave you a little inspiration for some things you can do with it. Something a little more obvious and something a little less obvious. And with that, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time. What team? Wildcats! Get your head in the game! I had to. I had to I had to end this video like that. Like you had to know it was coming.